Hello everyone, and here I'm going to show you how to determine the chemical formula of a compound, the empirical formula of the compound, using our magnesium oxide sample as an example. So with the three masses that I got in the laboratory, my crucible and lid weighed 30.453 grams. We added the magnesium to it, and the mass went up to 30.870 grams. And then we reacted it with oxygen, so the oxygen was added in. At this point, we don't know what X and Y are yet, but the mass again rose to 31.093 grams. Now, the first step for finding an empirical formula is that you have to start with the mass of each element in the compound, so the mass of magnesium and the mass of oxygen. To get those, we just need to do a couple of quick subtractions. So to get the grams of magnesium, I basically just need to subtract the weight of the container out from the weight of the container and the magnesium. So a quick subtraction there. So 30.870 grams minus 30.453 grams. And I get a mass of 0 0.0.417 grams of magnesium. We'll do the same thing for the oxygen. Now the oxygen appeared to between this mass and this mass, and so the mass again went up. So grams of oxygen there. I'll write it out. 31.093 grams minus 30.870 grams, and I get a mass of 0 0.223 grams of oxygen. So that's our first step to get the mass of both the elements that we used. So we'll highlight those. Put a little heart next to that. The next step in determining an empirical formula is to take those masses and change them into mole values. How many moles of magnesium do I have? How many moles of oxygen do I have? So to do so, to review this, 0.417 grams of magnesium. To convert it into moles, what I need to do is multiply by this conversion factor, one mole of magnesium over 24.305 grams of magnesium, which comes from the periodic table. Feel free to go check. And when I do this division, I get a tiny value of 0 0.0172 moles. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing for the oxygen, 0 0.223 grams of oxygen. One mole of oxygen has a different mass from the periodic table at around 15.99. There are some more de decimal digits there, but I won't use them. And when I do this division, I get a value of 0 0.0139 moles of oxygen. So now I have my amounts of magnesium and oxygen converted into moles. And the actual empirical formula is simply the lowest whole number ratio of these moles. Now, right now, they're decimals. They're not whole numbers. They're kind of looking ugly. And I can already see that there's some error in here. Good job, Mr. Rudolph. And what I need to do is figure out the lowest whole number ratio of these. The easiest way to do that is to divide them both by the smaller of the two. Now, the smaller of the two is that one. And when you do this, automatically one of your values becomes a 1 because you're dividing it by itself. Then you go to the other one and divide it by the same value, and I get here a 1.23. Now, my calculator gave me a bunch more decimals than that, but I'm rounding it to 3 because that's all the significant digits that I have. And here we, I've kind of reached this point where <coughs> I now have a 1 in the formula, so my formula right now could be written Mg 1.23 O1. Okay? And that's different from what I know the accepted value to be, which is Mg 101 or just MgO. So they're not the same. But that's because it's a laboratory, and sometimes things happen in the laboratory. We lose some product we spill something, maybe we didn't react completely. Um, there's lots of different things that could have happened here to give me a, an error, um, but my results give me a 1.23, and I'm going to stand by that and say 
I think my error probably came from the fact that I lost some smoke as I was filming. Um, that seems to be the most logical explanation for this being off from what that is. But whatever you get here as your value, you should go with it <coughs> and talk about where you think your error came from. And then we'll compare it to the actual value to get a percent error. In this case, my error is going to be a 23% error because I'm 0.23 off from a ratio of 1 to 1. Hope this helps. Have a great day.